Hi there, it's August the 1st and time for a brand new Through the through Proverbs. This will be our 12th time, an even dozen. We started a year ago in September and this marks the 12th time we're going through out of 24. This month, um, I decided to use the Revised Standard Version because I look for old Bibles and it, it's hard to find older print Bibles that are electronic like this one is. You want to stay away from Bibles that were written in the last, that were written but were published in the last, you know, 10, 15 years because, face it, we're in the end times, okay? And the devil's trying to get a foothold by making everybody comfortable. And these publishers have gone to great lengths to try and make everybody comfortable and everybody inclusive. And that's not what the Bible's about, okay? You don't change words. You don't go woke. You don't lessen the power or the awesomeness of God just to make people feel better. So stick to your older Bibles, okay? And at some point, I may, com I may compare the two just so you can see the differences, but at some point. But we're using the Revised Standard, so let's begin. We know the first two chapters of Proverbs is like a prologue setting everything up. So, <clears throat> The Proverbs of Solomon, son of David, king of Israel, that men may know wisdom and instruction, understand words of insight, receive instruction in wise dealing, righteousness, justice, and equity, that prudence may be given to the simple, knowledge and discernment, discretion to the youth, the wise may also hear and increase in learning, and the man of understanding acquire skill to understand a proverb and a figure, the words of the wise and their riddles. Now, riddle is only a question you don't know the answer to, right? The, and this is the most important thing in right? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge or wisdom or understanding. Okay? Fools despise wisdom and instruction. Right? How many people you try and talk to, they just, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. Okay? Despise wisdom and instruction. But yeah, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Okay? And I usually talking about getting knowledge you know we'll, we'll read on a little bit warnings against evil companions well let's just go ahead and we'll jump over to James da, 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 da. James 1 and I already have this highlighted but how do you get knowledge? Okay. I want to be wise. How do I get wise? Okay. And it says, First James chapter 5. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives to all men generously without reproaching, and it will be given to him. Right? If you want knowledge or wisdom, just ask God, and he'll give it to you. He doesn't hold back from anybody. But, as a caveat here, let him ask when faith, in faith, with no doubting. Right? For he who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed by the wind. For that person must not suppose that a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways, will receive anything from the Lord. So, if you want to get wise, just ask the Lord, and he will grant you wisdom. But you have to believe in absolute faith without doubting that he's going to give it to you okay you can't say i hope he gives it to me because there's doubt in that okay you have to know you have to say without with no doubt and with absolute faith i ask the lord for wisdom and i know he will give me wisdom i know it so let's go get wisdom right so but yeah that's something i always add in there you know so you want to get wisdom? That's how you get wisdom. You ask for it. Okay. Warnings against evil companions. Hear, my son, your father's instruction, and reject not your mother's teaching, for they are a fair garland for your head and pendants for your neck. My son, if sinners entice you, do not consent. 
If they said, come with us, let us lie in wait for blood, let us wantonly ambush the innocent, like so let us swallow them alive, and whole like those who go down to the pit. We shall find all, we shall find all precious goods, and shall fill our houses with spoil. Throw in your lot among us, and we'll all have one purse. <laughs> Best them do not walk in their way with them, hold back your foot from their paths, for their feet run to evil, and they, let, and they make waste, haste to shed blood. For in vain is a net spread in the sight of any bird. Mm. That's kind of cool. I'll highlight that one. But these men lie in wait for their own blood. They set an ambush for their own lives. Such are the ways of all who get who get gained by violence. It takes away the life of its possessors. All right. Somebody stronger always comes along. All right. And you like this, for in vain is a net spread in the sight of any bird. Right? If a bird sees you laying a trap, it's not going to go into the trap. Okay. Okay, the call of wisdom. And he likens wisdom to a female, okay? Just because that's the way Solomon was. He's trying to, you know, draw everybody in. And the truth is that I've learned through, you know, so many times through Proverbs and studying the New Testament, Jesus was wisdom, okay? I say Solomon was the wisest man who ever lived. Why wasn't Jesus wiser than Solomon? Jesus was wisdom, okay? It's, a dif it's different. He was wisdom. Jesus knew everything, okay? He was ultimate wisdom, okay? So with Jesus in mind, let's read this out. Wisdom cries aloud in the street in the market. She raises her voice on the top of the wall. She cries out at the entrance of the city gate. She speaks. How long, O simple ones, will you love, will you love being simple? How long will scoffers delight in their scoffing and fools hate knowledge? Give heed to my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my thoughts to you. I will make my words known to you. Because I have called you and, re and you refuse to listen, have stretched out my hand and no one has heeded. And you have ignored all my counsel and will have none of my reproof. I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when panic strikes you. When panic strikes you like a storm and your calamity comes like a whirlwind. When distress and anguish come upon you. Then they, then they will call on me, but I will not answer. They will seek me diligently, but will not find me. Because they hated knowledge and chose not to fear the Lord. Would have none of my counsel and despised all my reproof. Therefore, they shall eat the fruit of their way and be sated with their own devices. How do you like that? For the simple are killed by their turning away, and the, and the complacence of fools destroys them. But he who listens to me will dwell secure and be at ease without dread of evil. Right? Listen to wisdom. Listen to Jesus. Hmm. So, there's Proverbs 1, the beginning, and 2 is more of the prologue and the setup. It's not until 4 or 5 where you get to actual Proverbs, okay? But this stuff is very, very important. You know, you want to get wisdom, you want to keep wisdom, you want to retain wisdom. Hmm? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Hmm? First, you have to fear the Lord, you have to follow the Lord, right? And then you ask the Lord for wisdom and knowledge, and he'll give it to you. With, But you can't doubt, okay? You have to have an absolute faith and not doubt that he will give it to you, okay? But the fear of the Lord is the most important. Okay? And we highlighted that. We highlighted 17. For in vain is a net spread in the sight of any bird. Okay? Can't set a trap if they see the trap. And we talked about the call of wisdom, likening that to Jesus who was wisdom itself. So we highlighted 29 through 31. And this is people today because they hated knowledge and, and did not choose to fear the Lord or follow the Lord who would have, would have none of my counsel and despised all my reproof. Therefore, they shall eat the fruit of their own way and be sated with their own devices. They get what you deserve, right? Get what you deserve. But he who listens to me will dwell secure 
and be at ease without dread of evil. So, there you go. That's Proverbs 1. We're starting all over again, which is cool. And again, we're using the revised standard version. You see down there, the the latest copy, it was 1971. Okay, that was a long time ago. Well before all the, the woke and all the weird stuff going on nowadays. Okay. And try to include, we must love everybody. And include everybody, yeah, you have to love everybody, but you don't have to agree with their lifestyle. You don't have to make their lifestyle part of your lifestyle just to make them feel better. That's wrong, okay? Whatever the lifestyle is, okay? So, we're doing that again. Revised standard, studying the old, the older versions. I like them much better, so. But, and I would do different ones, but you can't get printed. You can't get it on the, online, okay? I mean, I wanted to do the old the old NIV, okay, but they rewrote that in, you know, 2010 and 11, changed all the male and female to just my children and my people when they were specifically talking to one or the other, okay, and some of them even take away the sovereignty of God himself, which is what Satan wants, okay, he wants you not to care. And we're not going to do that, okay? We're not going to do that. So, there you have it. Day one, we're starting all over. Stay tuned later today. We're on day 214, I think. 13 or 14. I can check real quick because I don't remember. Let's see. We're on day 214, and we're back into Second Kings and Chronicles, studying the genealogy and stuff. We finished Isaiah yesterday, and that was a great, that was a great study. Isaiah was great, you know, through the Bible in a year, just reading through it. So, catch that later on if you want. Give us a like if you think about it. Until then, we're gonna start all over. Remember, stay humble. See ya.